Jeez. How do you wrap your head around a round like that? You can't. It's impossible. <laughs> um, the wind was a little, little quieter when we started, for sure. So that, that led to being a little bit more aggressive. And then when the wind picked up, the greens got a little firmer on the backside, and I kind of had to play a little bit more defensive, and um, it showed. So it was an awesome start. Um, I really, you know, I really could have – I lipped out on 17 and really had a good chance to birdie on 18. Um, but not complaining there, just, you know, kind of just got off my rhythm a little bit on the back, and it played a lot harder. What happens to you, and when did it start happening? You start thinking differently. What did it, was it after the third birdie in a row, fourth birdie in a row, fifth birdie in a row, sixth birdie in a row? I mean, you, you tied a PGA to a record. For, I didn't know that. For most birdies to start a round. Gotcha. Um, well, I really hit a, a great shot on 17, which is my eighth hole. Um, and, you know, hit it like 16 feet just right of the pin, exactly where we were supposed to be, and hit an awesome putt. And then hit two really good shots into 18 and had a really tough chip, you know, running away toward the water. And then, you know, after I made the turn, we had to walk probably five, 600 yards to number one tee. That's kind of when it starts setting in a little bit. And I just, I think it did because I hit a really bad drive on one and then caught an unfortunate break catching a flyer to go over the green. So that's really when it kind of hit me. It was like, okay, let's, you know, let's try to get back in the, in the zone or the rhythm. And it was just a lot harder because the wind started picking up. Did you think 5-9 at all? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when? When did you start? Um, probably off uh, standing on on 16-T. The part, uh, drive, it was playing up today. It was drivable and I hit an awesome three-wood up there just short of the hole and got up and down. And then um, I hit when I hit that really good shot into uh, the next hole, 17, which was definitely one of the toughest holes today, and I hit that great shot. I was like, you know, if I keep swinging like this and executing like this, we're going to have a chance. And then wind picked up, and I, I clearly didn't. When you think back to this round, do you think the first seven or do you think the last 11? <sighs> uh, both. I feel like it's two completely different rounds. I mean, it's one round, but to me it feels like two different ones because uh, yeah, I couldn't miss on the first seven holes, and then all I was trying to do was just give myself some opportunities on the back nine, and it just wasn't happening. What kind of feeling do you get? What kind of adrenaline gets pumping when you get one after another after another? Um, a lot. I actually felt some nerves a little bit, but they were good nerves. It was a good kind of nerves, not like the hope I don't miss the cut nerves or, you know, where we stand on the FedEx Cup nerves. It's more of like, hey, like I'm in contention again and I want to play well nerves. And those are the good kind. Those are the fun kind. So, I'll, you know, it's, it's always good when you have those. Did it help that a little drier weather was coming in and it wasn't quite as humid today as it has been? Well, clearly the wind started picking up and that hurt and kind of derailed my, my round a little bit. It's definitely playing harder out there right now than it was when we first teed off. But um, it's it definitely makes the course more fun and more challenging when the greens get firmer and the wind picks up. With the wind and everybody bunched up like it is, what do you think this is setting up for tomorrow? A lot of fun because there's going to be a lot of guys within probably four of the lead. Um, and a course like this, when you have the opportunity to make seven birdies in a row or play really tough, then that really gives a lot of guys an opportunity tomorrow. Good.